Good morning, folks. We've got a number of items to hit today, including a few strong swings in the climate realm. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star over at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the sun without much in the way of bright active regions, but there's still plenty to see. Coronal holes are all over the disk right now. Enhanced solar wind and likely some low-level geomagnetic storms are due up for us next week. Right now, the solar wind is calming back off the minor previous stream, caused only minor geomagnetic instability. We're also continuing to monitor the large, thin, snake-like plasma filament between the coronal holes on the south, facing Earth today and tonight, and under eruption watch. Heading to North America, where the blue tint begins the freezing mark, pink transitions to below zero, and with wind chills 20 degrees lower still, the negative 20 wind chill outside my door is nothing compared to the upper Midwest with the dip in the jet stream delivering negative 40 to negative 50 wind chills, record cold marks, falling by the hour as the polar vortex aids the lower level flows out of the north. Another big quake yesterday, this one off Sendai near where the 2011 disaster occurred. That is two seven pointers in a week after more than a month without one. Veteran observers see no coincidence with the return of the number one earthquake timing factor, the coronal holes. You can learn more about coronal holes, earthquake timing, and location forecasting at quakewatch.net as well as read our papers, the ones cited by professors and NASA scientists, including the one co-authored by a professor and NASA scientist. But we are off next to the science stories, and we start with vaporized planetary crusts in the atmosphere of a white dwarf star. They say it was a planetary system 12 billion years ago, one of the first in the galaxy, but now the planets are dead and destroyed and fragmented across the interior of the former system. We're jumping next into the climate game, and back in time first. Quick look at tracking societal upheaval in China and the swings in temperature. Cold has brought about unrest and danger for dynasties. Speaking of that same cold, the Little Ice Age is a point of disagreement among scientists. Some say it definitively began in the 1400s, but the real brutal aspect, some point to beginning in the 1600s with the Maunder Grand Solar Minimum. Today, we're seeing confirmation from the Himalayas that the real brutal aspect did indeed wait for the sun to drop its activity. I promised some swings in the climate realm, and here they come. Starting at CMIPs, where from the last generation to this generation, five to six, we've got more uncertainty than we did before. Now, in reality, it actually better identifies the uncertainty points, and so it does look worse. But in reality, overconfidence in the past belied how little they really knew, and yet which still somehow managed to take over global policies. We have watched antidotes to that ignorance, however, in the model since mid-2019, and today we've got two more in the top climate journal on Earth. The first puts a cork in the attempts to blame man for the West Coast droughts in the U.S. Pacific patterns are what they are, and by comparison, our parts per million chemical nudges are like ants against a tornado. More importantly, it was just days ago we went over Dr. Roy Spencer's identification of U.S. temperature bias with special attention to the urbanization of temperature gauges. He had commented that he suspected it was worldwide and, uh, Dr. Spencer, are you psychic or something? Yep, globally, the temperatures are fibbing. Sliding right to where I hope we remember the top three science journals in geophysics, all said that melting polar ice triggers an ice age due to cold freshwater intrusion and shutdown of circulations and overturning heat transport. We're about to get another ice cube dropped in the glass here. Brunt, about to go. Now last but not least, they finally figured out how to make this work. Magnetically fragmented disk at the planetary level in a proto-system. Folks, whether they think they've identified a magnetorotational instability, like is the case here, or whether they use the Parker instability or Parker spiral electric current sheet, to something in orbit within that system, it's going to be switches back and forth within the magnetic system. We greatly appreciate your support. In the links below the video in the description box, we've got more on those magnetic systems and their application to Earth disaster. Also a link to learn more about the climate, Observer Ranch, the lottery is today. People hoping to be VIP sponsors of the ranch are a few hours away from learning if they got one of the heavily oversubscribed spots. We're coming together to build a place for the community's annual events. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. It's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.